What's up, Mitten Squad? My name is Paul, and welcome back to another Top 10 video. In this video, I'll be going over 10 things you didn't know about Fallout New Vegas' DLC. Number 10. Lonesome Road is inspired, at least in part, by Samuel Taylor Coleridge's Rhyme in the Ancient Mariner, Part 6, Stanza 11, which reads, quote, Like one that on a lonesome road doth walk in fear and dread, and having once turned round walks on, and turns no more his head, because he knows a frightful fiend doth close behind him tread." End quote. Ulysses plays the part of the frightful fiend, the courier's secret past with the divide corresponds with and having once turned round walks on, and the lonesome road is the lonesome road mentioned at the start of the quote. Number 9. Joshua Graham encountered in Honest Hearts, then referred to as the Hanged Man, was to be a companion in Van Buren, the cancelled Fallout 3 by Black Isle Studios. He was to be the first and statistically best companion that the player encountered in the game, but was also very evil and in some ways made the game extremely difficult for a player with poor negotiating skills to complete. He was intended to be a jinxed, non-playable character, much like the Pariah Dog. Number 8. The Toaster in Old World Blues is a reference to the character Brave Little Toaster from the Environmental Protection Agency, a cut location intended for Fallout 2, who was in turn a reference to the character from Red Dwarf named Talkie Toaster. Number 7. Some remaining base game dialogue strings for Veronica indicate that Elijah, the main antagonist of Dead Money, went through a number of name changes as well as a difference in his eventual fate, and was slated to appear in the main game rather than the Dead Money add-on. One set of dialogue which refers to a former Brotherhood Elder named Abraham, who was presumed dead after the retreat from Helios 1, but has gone north into Ghoul Country, while another refers to a former Elder named Monty, who the courier had to either trap or kill in order to retrieve an accelerator. Both characters are explicitly defined as ghouls, and both leave messages with the courier to deliver to Veronica. As with Elijah's last words and Elijah's ramblings, the courier is given the option to show this message to Veronica or withhold it. These dialogues are modified and reused by the Dead Money add-on for Veronica's responses to the courier's description of Elijah's fate. Number 6. The book shoot in Old World Blues is an amalgam of several concepts from the novel 1984 by George Orwell. The book shoot concept is reminiscent of the memory holes present with the Ministry of Truth where material that contradicts the current government line are placed never to be located again. The character also makes a reference to a form of torture used in later part of the novel. The exact quote from book shoot is, a cage that fits over your head and a bag full of mole rats. Another reference is that the personality matrix for the shoot is recovered from House Number 101 in Higgs Village. Room 101 is an infamous room in 1984, in which the main character undergoes torture similar to what the shoot describes. It also references using blank books to keep a journal, something the main character of 1984 does. The book shoot's actual name is Library Processing Unit 232.7. The model number is a reference to Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451, which when converted into metric is 232.7 degrees Celsius. The book presents a future American society where books are outlawed and firemen burn any that are found. Number 5. While Dog and God from Dead Money are in fact an extremely crazed nightkin with an obvious split personality disorder likely given to them when the master died in Fallout, Elijah seems to be under the impression that he is merely a second generation FEV mutant or dum-dum as Tabitha refers to them. God has given him this impression by cleverly not speaking aloud whenever Elijah is listening, exposing him only to Dog's personality who acts like any other second generation mutant. Number 4. Ricky, one of the people who heads into Zion's Canyon with the Happy Trails caravan at the start of Honest Hearts, tells the player that he got the nickname Deadeye after shooting a jackjaw in its eye. This is a reference to the Chosen One, who killed a Deathclaw by shooting it in its eye. Also, his statement that he killed a Brotherhood of Steel Paladin by shooting him in the eye with an 11mm submachine gun foreshadows the appearance of the 45 Auto submachine gun, which is technically an 11mm caliber weapon. Number 3. The Dead Money add-on as a whole is a reference to the 1984 film The Treasure of the Sierra Madre, where two people who are down in their luck meet a prospector and plan to prospect in the remote mountains in search of gold, dealing with fierce locals and personal greed. Number 2. The members of the Think Tank in Old World Blues are all references to things in science. Dr. Klein is a reference to the mathematician Felix Klein, who thought of the Klein Bottle, a three-dimensional, non-orientable object in four-dimensional space, an equivalent to the Mobius Strip in a higher dimension. Dr. Mobius was inspired by Dr. Edward Mobius, the antagonist of the 1956 science fiction film Forbidden Planet, as well as the name of his base was inspired by the name of the film. 
His name is also a reference to the Mobius Strip or Mobius Band, a 3D object which topologically only has one side. Dr. Boris is a reference to the name of the ancient symbol Ouroboros, which is typically depicted as a snake eating its own tail, another looping and infinite figure which follows the name and convention of the other members of the think tank. The misspelling of Boros was an error on Dr. Mobius's part. Dala is a shortened form of Mandala, which means circle in Sanskrit, another looping and infinite figure which follows the naming conventions of the other members in the think tank again. James Urbaniak plays the voice of Dr. Thaddeus S. Rusty Venture in The Venture Bros. Like Dr. Venture, Dr. O is very emotional, easily frustrated, and suffers from an inferiority complex as well as a blatant ineptitude with technology, despite his claims to the contrary. Also, both names O the number and O the letter are infinite figures. Lastly, Dr. 8's name is a reference to infinity, as the number 8 is an infinite loop and the symbol for infinity resembles a sideways 8. This is featured in a conversation with Dr. Mobius. Number 1. J.E. Sawyer revealed on Formspring that the story of Honest Hearts drew inspiration from the Utah War and the Mountain Meadows Massacre. From Wikipedia, the Utah War from 1857 to 1858, also known as the Utah Expedition, Utah Campaign, Buchanan's Blunder, the Mormon War, or the Mormon Rebellion, was an armed confrontation between Mormon settlers in the Utah Territory and the armed forces of the United States government. The confrontation lasted from May 1857 to July 1858. There were some casualties, mostly non-Mormon civilians, the war had no notable battles. As for the Mountain Meadows Massacre, again from Wikipedia, the Mountain Meadows Massacre was a series of attacks on the Baker Fancher emigrant wagon train at Mountain Meadows in southern Utah. The attacks began on September 7th and culminated on September 11th, 1857, resulting in the mass slaughter of an emigrant party by members of the Utah Territorial Militia from the Iron County District, together with some Paiute Native Americans. Intending to leave no witnesses and thus prevent reprisals, the perpetrators killed all the adults and older children, about 120 men, women, and children in total. 17 children, all younger than 7, were spared. And that's gonna do it for this top 10 video about Fallout New Vegas DLC. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions for any future top 10 video about any game or game character. Follow me on Twitter at MittenSquad. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.